Hey Sag, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising. Welcome to my Cross Watchers Cross Watcher. Maybe you're dealing with a Sag and the message is actually for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind these are general and timeless readings. Shiz. Um, everything is down below in the description box. My website link, Instagram handle, all that good stuff. And um, thank you guys so much for just liking, subscribing. Thanks for all the ways that you have been here and supported the channel. Let's jump into your message. All right. So we have the offering and the poet. Okay. Um, I wonder if this was you. You could have extended an offer. This is either you or someone else that you were dealing with because look at this. It almost feels like this. So you could have made an offer to a person, possible, or they made an offer to you. That's just like rolling around in the middle energy, okay? Somehow you are interconnected with this person. There could be even something here about it was an offer with the potential of freedom here or um, something like that was tied to it. Just going to throw that out there. This is like really intense because <laughs> I'm just going to say it. We have the destroyer. It's either that a couple are working together to destroy this energy I almost even wonder if this was a false offer or something like that. This could be a person here that isn't... I always see Sagittarians as self-expression in some way. It could be a literal poet or a creative person with that card coming out. Let's see. Oh, it came out perfectly. Okay, this wanted to fly out the blue temple. I'm gonna kind of like put it right there for some interesting reason mainly because these are gonna take up space okay this is ascension which is super good okay synchronicities and, and sublimation are coming in together okay so there's the synchronicities card synchronicities are I guess pretty much like going to be showing the way to ascension out of this situation looks like what else do we have resin okay i know what that card is thank freaking goodness aquarius had that we have coagulation oh good oh how interesting i'm gonna take that upside down and then we're gonna go off of these two energies so we have co coagulation and the androgyny. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce that. I could be wrong, so I apologize if I am. I think I said it wrong the first time. Okay. Here's what we've got going on. So this is super interesting, Sag. I don't know if you guys are in a commitment or this is some kind of vow that was made over here. It was either involving vows, some of you guys, this was either involving a marriage or there's like two people that are just like committed mainly because this blue temple made an appearance and the reason why. So the blue temple, it talks about like the home of alchemical imagination. And you guys rule the ninth house. So it talks about new depths and new possibilities that have entered the environment. Somehow that came into your space. It opened up your awareness. So now that this has become like a potential or a possibility, there's something about being hooked on this. Or it's, that could be involving this energy over here. If there's a destroyer that's what that's what the motivation is there's something here driving this person because now that they became aware that something is possible here or there's potential here now these energies are out to um destroy something which is like super intense but that could just be happening in general okay nothing to worry nothing to be afraid of it's probably motivating a lot because the poet card is like there's a person here i've talked about this previously 
there's a person here that is like going through this process through this interaction. The poet is always a person that cracks open something. They, ha they have the light or they have some kind of specific alchemical agent with inside of them that's specific to this whole process. It can't be replicated, it can't be generated, it can't be stolen. It's literally connected to this person. So that's what's challenging here about this whole dynamic because there's a person here that holds, I'm almost seeing this as like, with this coming upside down, that's why this is almost fascinating because the right side up, it is dissolution, but almost reverse, it's a solution. There's a person here that holds a solution and they'll be the only one to be able to access the solution. Maybe because they went through the process themselves and they they might hold something they might be the ones that hold something at this time what i'm getting from this connection there's a person here that could have um made something appear to be an offer but it's a false offer it feels like that and i'm going to say that straight up because jupiter is retrograde and and freaking neptune is retrograde so just expect it someone could come in and take an offer but it's got a strategy behind it it's got some kind of like ulterior motive um, we have the five of cups and the seven of wands so there could be a person here that's like grieving um, a solution okay there's healing here taking place okay I'm gonna take that one on the top because it just wants to. Oh good, there's a lot of self-care here. Ace of Cups and the Star card, that's beautiful. Okay, that's Aquarian energy. I'm just gonna say it straight up. And then we have, oh, look at that. The Moon, the Two of Wands, and the Magician card. Okay. <laughs> this is so funny. Resin talks about transparency and openness. It's like an actual, like, that's what's some kind of attractive element, I suppose. You could be following synchronicities or ascending at this time. That's what the, this talks about, is like your synchronicities will be somehow reflective of how you're ascending somehow in this situation. And androgyny, I want to read this out to you because it can be... Um, like intimacy without talking. You might have that with a particular person. How interesting. And then we have the three of swords and the death card. Okay. That keeps coming out. What in the freaking heck? Okay. You guys are probably going to feel frustrated at times because, um, not to completely put that out there, but there's something going on with this coagulation, okay? So part of your next interaction, Sag, will be this coagulation where you're going through an elevation. Also, some of you guys might have been involved in a situation where you felt like other people were opposing you. And there could have been something here where you felt a lot of tension in an environment and some of you guys, I don't know if you felt singled out or misunderstood, or maybe it's just because like, in general, you don't want to be involved in certain dynamics or situations because um, sometimes it's like energies want to be seen around you. I know this is not going to make perfect sense, but it's like right now you could be... Um, releasing something at this time there also can be some regrets here that are coming up like you know that that happens especially with this destroyer energy that could have come in but some of you guys are probably just focused on the self-care here especially with this ace of cups and the star this more feels like there's this ace of cups it could be a friendship it's possible, but you might be realizing that something was more similar to you than you realized. Maybe at one time there was like more in common or some kind of healing there. 
this this energy could be moving a lot in self-care but that could be just you in general sag like i wonder if that's what's taking place you might be getting in touch with this process yourself with the poet like literally what's going to happen because there's a lot of there's something that feels stuck in the energy right here with the coagulation it literally talks about the experience with other while not losing oneself and I feel like what you guys might have been involved in previously is possibly relationships or dynamics where you lost yourself because you got and that could have been on one side or the other sometimes what can happen is like do you know what's super trippy you can be dealing with different environments, different relationships, different situations. In one environment, you can be like the golden child. And then in another, you can be scapegoated or be the black sheep. And it's like very interesting because when you're the black sheep in another, some other energy feels like the golden child or the bully. It's super trippy. And it could talk about fragmentation in general. And I think what's gonna happen is you're gonna come to an awareness of some kind of stuck energy. That's what coagulation is or coagulatio. It talks about this process where you're gonna have to be holding your boundaries or staying very true or connected to yourself. That's almost what this feels like. And it could have be a, some kind of self-expression. You know, the poet is like, it's expression, it's um, creative expression. It's, it's like the way that you interpret processes that you've been through and find a way to let it out into the ethers, if you wanna call it that, okay? So that's what I think is also happening. I'm just gonna throw this out there too. There's almost like a bit of concern over here um, like plans like this is a very interesting dynamic this can be a gemini virgo and that can be i always say it's like my pisces or cancer energy and this two of wands can be opportunities that are available i kind of get that in general and that might come up in some very interesting way oh like this is a very interesting dynamic some, lately I've been calling the magician someone who knows how to get things. <laughs> like red in Shawshank Redemption. Like there's something here um, maybe developing, opportunities could come in. There's a person here that's trying to manifest something with this moon energy. This could be a very intuitive person. This could also be like the star with the moon. That's a that's another form of some kind of self-mastery. This could be a person here that is like a healer or they are an alchemist in some way, shape or form. They might heal a lot through self-care and somehow that could be either in your environment, Sag. You could be interconnected some way. I don't know if you're making an offer or you're aware of an offer in some particular way. Or you might be like, you could have made an offer to a particular person, um, tried to bring some emotional nourishment into an environment or into a dynamic because there there's regrets that could be coming up and you'll realize it because something over here might feel like it's stuck because you'll go through this awareness of um, a solution that was around you things that weren't seen quite accurately. But yeah, like this is pretty huge, like whatever is developing here, because this two of wands is like making plans. The world is at your fingertips. Like that's somehow available here between two energies. These two energies are making plans about something. So that could be you. You might be secretive about this. You might be secretly making plans in some particular way to um, manifest something right now. There's a person here, it's some kind of masculine energy. I definitely wanna say that. This is a masculine expression and this is a feminine expression. And I feel like this is the direction that you might be feeling you wanna to go toward because you feel like it's, um, it's got some kind of emotional nourishment tied to it and you might be feeling as though it helps to 
like elevate you in some way or you're trying to ascend like look at all the birds it's like you're trying to ascend beyond some kind of process that you recently went through and trying to elevate beyond this in the right way like you have to be very conscious about how you engage with this like not getting defensive and because you realize that when that happens it like disconnects you from an, a higher aspect of yourself and it causes things to get stuck right there and I also feel like you might have moments here where you maybe you feel like you're interacting with someone that's very powerful or has a level of self-mastery in some particular way and I feel as though there's a person here that's trying to be very transparent with you about either what they feel or what they think and it might be like really interesting what's going on here because there might even be a little bit of power struggles that are coming up because of this intimacy. This is literally what the androgyny, I know this might sound super weird, but it's like there's a, there's a holding pattern going on within a frequency because you might still be trying to let go or completely detach from some other situation that you were involved with that you didn't want to be involved in. Three of Swords can be triangulation, like, you know, allies and um, two people, like, it can be couples or getting involved in dynamics like that. And there's a lot of intimacy, not a lot of talking, but it's like energies that are felt in some particular way. That's going to come up as a potential blockage or you're aware of it in some kind of way I'm not sure how but it's like you're you're conscious and you're aware of it and you could be trying to um come up with solutions at this time because maybe you feel like someone's for those of you if you're married you might be feeling as though there's a person here that's trying to like um destroy this I don't know this is super crazy it could be something about this ace of cups and the star like this emotional nourishment or nourishing this energy in general i don't know sag let's dive into the extended if you guys want to join me over there feel free go down below click on the vimeo link see it over there but um sag if this is where we leave things sending you so much love wishing you all the very best see you in your next reading take care